You know, <clears throat> people have asked and I haven't delivered. In a typical YouTuber move, um, I have asked you many times, what would you guys like to see on this channel? And you have responded nicely, very nicely. A legitimate list of ideas of what you'd like to see on this channel. And I've still been like, hmm, I wonder what people would want to see. You wanted to see how I do my Instagram, and how I do my Instagram in the sense like, how I be taking these pictures, uh, how I edit them, what apps I use, what filters, how I actually design the feed, the thought process that goes behind it, and just my general philosophy on social media itself. Anyways, it's time to give you all the details of my Instagram. Let's do it. Taking photos. The thing to realize here, is that most photos look like crap, straight out of the camera, straight out of your phone. They look like garbage. Garbaggio, garbanzo means they're bad. Freaking horrible. <laughs> Even this video, if I were to not put the color on it, this is what it looks like. This is what I have to look at when I'm editing. And then the final step, I put all the color on. There are two ways to look at this. Either, oh, I want the natural look, so I'm not gonna put a filter on my picture, or I want the natural look, so I want to put a filter on my photo to get it back to what I actually saw with my eye. Once we've gotten to the filter section, I think you'll have a better understanding of what your style might be. So when you're taking pictures, you'll already know like, See, this cafe would look good with this filter. You'll start to organize in your mind while you're taking pictures what will work and what won't work. From now on, anything you take a picture of is not just an object. Think of it as a composition, a mise-en-scene, like think of the setup. So when you're looking at objects, they're not just objects, people. Look at the shadows, like how the light is hitting the object. If it's a book, like do you want the text of the book? Is the picture just the text itself? Or is it high enough so you get like a little fold of the next page next to it? For me personally, I found that when you take your picture of an object, but you kind of create your own borders, it'll work out better for you because then you can match those borders with other pictures and then your feed will start like forming its own design. Move the camera over. Ooh. Okay, just something like that. You see the difference? Second example. Okay, don't judge this mirror by the way. I found it downstairs in the trash and I went and picked it up. And yes, this is an Airbnb. I do not have a, I do not even have an apartment in Paris. Instead of just taking your picture like this, move it over. Take your little picture with the orange. Take it with the white. That's how you make your feed look cool. And if it doesn't work with the picture next to it, you can inverse the photo so that you can try to make it work with the next one. You get it? My personal profile, if you go to it, you'll see that the frame is pretty much filled every time. Everything in the frame is filled as opposed to something like this. These pictures are so hard on feeds uh, because you have to match the sky. Like if you use different filters, in one frame, the sky is blue, and the next one, the sky is purple, so it doesn't look as good. Exposure when you're taking your pictures is super important. A lot of times you'll be like, hey, can you take a picture of me in front of the Eiffel Tower? And they'll take a picture, but the sky looks like you are like photoshopped in front of just a white wall, as if the sky was white. Tap your screen and pull the exposure down, or pull it up, or down, or up, or down, or up. So we see at the top of the frame, the sun's going off right now. If I tap the top of the frame, now the exposure has been adjusted. The sky looks like a normal color. So if I had somebody, ooh, this would be so beautiful. If somebody were right there, there, and I could just like slowly zoom in and then you put some like old music to it, black and white filter. Right, so the goal here is to basically pre-edit your photos. So anytime you see a sun that's really like hot, really uh, like blaring out the rest of the photo, get it because if you don't get it, if you don't get the exposure, um, then in the post process, like the editing process after, your life's gonna be more difficult. I know a lot of these things for beginners, it might be like, oh my God, I have to do this, 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 yo. When you learn it and are doing it for a while, it's not even a checklist in your head, it's just intuitive. Like if I walk outside right now, I'm like, oh, well it's high noon. Nobody looks their best at high noon. And it's because the sun's rays are right above you and they're casting shadows on your eyes. So it looks like you have huge dark under eye circles. Posing. Okay, so most people have a good side. This is my good side. And this is my good side because uh, my hair tends to fall this way. Okay, so posing, everyone has their poses, right? Let me show you a few of mine. <laughs> this is, these are a few of mine. Okay, one foot forward, bend the knee a little bit, and boom, back. One. Oh, something's over there. Two, three, Maybe straight on, but a strong stance. Looking straight at the camera, four. Oh, it's sunny outside. Five, notice the legs. Get down, different levels. Six, up, lean back. Seven, eight, and then back up. Nine, no, okay. Props are, um, 
Welcome. I don't know what number we're on. 10. Be goofy with it. But this is the thing. You like fun, right? Like, be goofy. Be dumb. Like, I'm gonna be 28. And what? Do you think I just lose my joie de vivre once you, like, pass 22? Like, absolutely not. What other props do I have? A book? Ooh. Back. 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 Maybe even in front of the face. Keep the eyebrows. <laughs> so stupid. Reading. Put a hand in the pocket. You're waiting. Is that the bus? Oh, okay. I'm done. This is so dumb. Okay, a bag? Yeah. Bag down to your side. Bag up here. Bag over the shoulder. Bag, uh... Down here again. Uh, at this point, you gotta take into account that your phone will run out of space. So videos take up the most, delete all your videos, actually put them on a hard drive or put them up in the cloud. I don't know how to work the cloud and this is my full-time job. So I don't do the cloud, I put them on my hard drives, which is dangerous because then if I lose the hard drives, then I basically lost my youth, which is why youth is in your head. So. <clears throat> Take your pictures instead in Visco or your app. Uh, that way you're saving yourself some memory here because if you think about it, you're taking your picture on your phone, then you're importing it into Visco, then you're editing it into Visco, then you're putting it back onto your phone. Now your phone has three copies of the same picture. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture for y'all right now. I wouldn't even probably take this picture, but on my Instagram story, I've done this whole storyline of this mirror. That's my pose. This picture's gonna look dope though. We're gonna edit this together. Yeah, I could work with this one. I could do that. So the editing process. Let's just take this one before I get in all my tips and I'm gonna show you what I do. Go to Visco. I just deleted all my videos so I didn't have to do the trick where you put it in your Visco. So I'm gonna do this. Here is my work process. First off, I bought uh, the Visco pack. Now this doesn't mean that I use all these. So clearly I upgraded to the pro pack here. Through the history of my Instagram, I've used A4. Classic choice, it's done me well, it's given me the likes, it's earned me money. A4 is the one that I use. If it wasn't A4, it was a little M5, I had an M5 phase, everyone has a little M5 phase, let me show you. Thing is, I'm using these filters, but I'm, I'm lowering them. For a while I had the M5 look, see, see? A little dog one, dog two, dog three. X5, love it. Oh, I did a little AL5 once, ACG. If you don't wanna constantly go through all these filters, you tap it and scroll up. Now it's favorite. So I'll click through them. Honestly, I kinda of like dog one. Oh, I like them all. Freak. Next up, let's just, this is just a sample, right? I choose the filter, I lessen it to like probably six, seven, eight. I don't ever look at this this much. Turn down the highlights. Ooh, looks so much more natural. But if you go over here, then you start looking sickly. So you have to go to like a three, four, five. A lot of times I turn down the exposure, but in this one it looks fine. A lot of times I'll turn down the contrast. Um, I might sharpen it just like a little bit. Sometimes I wonder if like even these 0 0.2, 0 0.3, if it even does anything. Like this looks like First off, what is that bug bite on my... You know how I up the grain to like at least like 1.1? <laughs> so again, for the most part, I like my feed, I like my browns, my beiges, my whites. Living in a city like Paris is perfect because everything is brown, beige, and white. So next thing I do, there's some orange in this picture and I kind of want the orange. I don't want it to be completely wiped out. So I go over to this feature. Um, hot hue, hue saturation lightness, H, S, L. I just now figured out that, that was hue saturation and lightness. Um, since that's orange, I click the orange one, and I want to saturate the oranges. So I up the saturation. Look at that orange! You see the orange going? <laughs> if you want to mess with the hue of the orange, like what the orange actually looks like, you can go this way, it makes it look more pink, or this way, it makes it look more, more like I didn't even edit the picture. So why would I waste my time doing that? Lightness, it's almost like if there was a light flashing on the orange itself, and it's okay. I kind of like, just like that. If you're taking a mirror pic, always check what's in the mirror. Always. Um, always, because I'm like, what's up there? And also, maybe you should check when you're outside of your house, because if I saw a ghost in the back corner, I would be. This HSL tool, yo, that's been doing it. It's been doing it for me. Because sometimes you'll take a picture and it'll be too yellow, and you're like, I don't know what to do, and all these filters don't work. You gotta go into HSL and lower the yellows then. Organizing my feet. I'm excited to share these tips. I really am excited. It's just a matter of me like sitting down and actually telling you, but I'm excited because you know, people have wanted my feed for years. <laughs>
So there are two types of people uh, basically in the world. Those who just post their pictures and they move on with their lives. That's cool. And then there are people who like to edit their pictures and have a cool feed. And that's probably why you're watching this video. The way that I use Instagram, like I said, like I need it to be more than just posting my life and getting validation. I need it to be a creative outlet in addition to validation. <laughs> I'll be, you know, I'll be honest, there were many times when I was looking through my feed and it was getting a little off, getting a little off, and then BAM! I came back and saved it. For the most part, my Instagram, I've been working on the rule of twos. I just came up with this. Uh, rule of twos. So if you're gonna post a black and white picture, post two black and white pictures with the same black and white filter. If you're gonna post a really bright blue picture, post two. When the grid starts shifting, it, like, looks better when they're both next to each other. So as you can see in the middle of the feed, there are these two red ones, but sir, if you don't have an appointment, who is complicating all this? <laughs> if you post two back to back, they tend to look better. Um, again, same thing happened here. Two blues, two reds. Let's go further up. Two black and whites. Go further up and we can see again, there's two dark pictures right here. The one with the coat that says shut up and go and the one with this book that says do to que la mienne. Same thing up above it. There are two black and white pictures We're using the same filter going up and you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, you see this picture right here? Notice this is through a window. Instead of just taking a picture of the building itself, I use that so that in the frame next to it, I could match it with the next one. So you see this one? See that little black sliver right there? Boom, did it again. So this one, instead of just taking a picture of the text, I'm like, let me use that little sunshine, that shadow, because then I can use this dark sliver in my next picture, which worked out when I dropped that on y'all. If we keep going, you see that I do this often. Uh, same thing, whatever your life situation, how would you feel completely accepted as it is right now? Use a little black sliver, boom, pow, boom. Works with the Hawaii video. And then there are times when I set up a shot and I just start filming and then I realize, wow, I can't match anything to this color of this white cream wall. But I did, cause I went through the notes app and is this still filming? Okay, sorry. <laughs> y'all requested the video, okay? I didn't ask to do this. Y'all wanted to hear me talk. As you scroll, you see black and white next to black and white. You see dark photo next to dark photo. And then also, again, I like to have fun with it. And this, I posted this picture Y'all thought I was just looking at some random thing, and the next picture I post, boom! Some cute bodies. Some hottie mcdotties with the bodies. Some cutie mcdotties with some booties, and some hottie mcdotties with some bodies. This was a proud moment in my Instagram feed history. Okay, so this one, I had to flip. <whistles> flip, I had to inverse the picture. Flip it horizontally or vertically. It worked with the photo next to it, and then it gave me an opportunity to match the brown in the next photo. Match the brown. Who's back? Who's back? Okay. Also, this was actually a very powerful um, caption. So yes, the more that you scroll through my Instagram, the more you'll see that I'm using pictures in conjunction with other pictures. So if that means you need to inverse the photo, uh, flip the photo to make it work with the next photo, do it. Here's something I think we all need to accept. People aren't um, like waiting at home for us to post on Instagram. That's like something we all need to swallow. So yeah, no one really cares that much whether you post today or you post tomorrow or you post in three weeks. It's not gonna make much difference, but it will make a difference to you when you look back at your Instagram feed. So who are we really trying to impress here? All right, let's go into my enum. I'm posting this video series right now called The Fabuleuse Aventure de Damon. And y'all, I was so proud of this. I didn't even think of this until I put it in enum. I'm like, what if? Each video is its own story in itself. Like they're all videos recounting my experience here in Paris. But what if the subtitle, this yellow subtitle that we see here, what if I made a story out of the subtitles on my feed. So as you see, you can just like shift things around. This was uh, a video of me pumping myself up when um, I was gonna go hit on this guy at a coffee shop. Uh, he ended up being straight, but he still is like curious to get drinks. It's very confusing, French men. See, there isn't much to work with. This is why I keep them up here when I'm ready for them. And then I like see, what I, see what's in the bank. My Instagram stories. Instagram stories, okay. Number one, every time I take an Instagram story, I save it and I post it later. I post it later because, well, it's two reasons. Because there have been many instances where I post it and people are like, oh, I can tell by the angle of that mountain that Damon and Joe are living in that apartment. So I don't post exactly uh, right where I am. And then the second reason is I'm in the moment. I want to be in the moment as much as possible, but I do want to capture my life and document it. So it's this like uh, juxtaposition. The next most important thing to remember with Instagram story is that we 
cannot even remember one Instagram story we watched yesterday. Whose stories were you scrolling through yesterday and what were they doing? If the stories aren't like storylines themselves, then nobody really cares or nobody remembers. I hope you're seeing that, yeah, my approach to Instagram is like, if I'm gonna be on it, let's make it fun, let's make it cool, let's make it something that's worthwhile of all of our time. Nah? All right, let's just do a quick example. I'll just take a video in here somewhere. So, clean the screen off. This camera is 10 times better than this camera. So even if you're taking a selfie and you wanna do the most, do it with this one. This is a test for the day that I make Instagram. And I'm wiping the sweat off my forehead because it's summer in Paris and it's freaking hot in here. And there's, of course, no fan. And I had to choose the heaviest outfit to wear today. Okay. <laughs> Nothing about that was postable, by the way. Actually, maybe. Um, I'd go to Visco. And again, I don't always use Visco. If I find it necessary, if I'm out in Paris and I see something beautiful, I would probably use a filter. 805, keep it up. Lower exposure, sharpen it, uh, turn down highlights, and done. Next, save. Now we can work with it. A lot of times I do this, I take the little dropper tool, I match it to a color that's already in the frame, and then a lot of times just like, I don't know, I just add something to it, I add a little square around it, and I might have to do it a few times to make it look cool. Anyone got a fan? Like, I don't know. You could keep it like that, or I might go above and beyond and do it like this. I just created two text files, by the way. Now, look at the difference, like that, compared to that. I would use the color drop tool. I might add a little something, something behind it. Anyone got a freaking fan? If you want your story to be out there more, uh, you should always use a location tag. However, maybe you're like, I don't want people to know I'm always using a location tag. I don't even put time into doing this all the time, but watch, I took Paris. <laughs> this is so sneaky. Wow, now the location tag is hidden. Got him. I always like to add music to my story, but I never use the part that they recommend because it's always like, and baby tonight. And I'm like, no. Say I want to post a, uh... oh, this picture. Okay, cool. So we have this picture that we're working with. First off, I'm looking a little crazy there. So I'll add the Paris filter to soften the skin. If I have a static picture that I'm gonna put up, I would probably do something like this. First off, I'd probably move this over while still filling the frame. Then I would add the text box and then I'd probably put like, I don't know, coffee. You know, something like that. Or say I want this picture and I want to say, follow me. Whatever. Say you want to come up with your own color. Okay, click it. See all these colors down here that they give you? That's not all y'all. I want orange, but I don't want that orange, and I don't want this orange, so I hold down the orange, and all of this appears. All of this appears. <laughs> Say I'm like, you know what, this photo's cool, but actually, I don't even want the picture, and I just want a plain background. Go to the pencil, find the color that you like, tap the screen, and hold. Boom! <laughs> now I'm like, you know what, wait, I liked my face in the picture, but I want this purple. Go to the pencil painter tool, go to the eraser tool, uh, it's this one. Where's my face? Ding, ding, ding! Follow me. And that's that. Um, this went on a lot longer than I expected. I'm sorry uh, for the length, but I'm also not sorry because I had a good time doing this. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, hopefully we'll be more responsive now once we see what other videos you want to see. If you like these tips, please follow me on Instagram, Damon Dominique. Uh, please follow our other accounts too. We have lots of other accounts. Uh, you can see it all in the description box below. Hope I helped. Just the thought of like, we are all fueling the matrix. We are all living a life now. I'm filming this video, you're watching this video, like that is our real life. But then we're like watching our real lives through the digital world, through our digital life. I'm filming this in my real life for the digital world, for you in your real life to watch something in the digital world instead of us just being in the real world. Then it's like we wouldn't be in the real world because I'm in Paris right now and you may be in Fort Wayne, Indiana, my hometown. And maybe you relate to that. I feel like this channel is all about like traveling, learning languages, getting out there and just living a freaking cool life. It's almost like the anti-social media, social media. Like we get what we need from it and then we move on. You guys are like, what is he talking about? You can't make me say what? All right, so here we have my Visco. As we see some of these pictures, this is about to go on my feed real soon. That's a film picture. But see, I'm still looking kind of pale, and that's because I am. 
at the end of the day, we are all curating our own magazines so that when somebody says, hey, what's your Instagram? You know they're gonna scroll through your feed, they're gonna click the picture, they're gonna read the caption. Is that representative of you?